Welcome to Celebrating Act Two Vlog with John Coleman and Art Kirsch. Hi, John. Hey, good morning, Art. How are you? Great. Hey, listen, uh, we just uh, uh, did a, a video with Bill uh, Jordan recently um, mm -hmm. about one of his many practices. I've got his book here somewhere. He's got a, a book of 15 great practices and uh, uh, making life easier and better. But the one we did, we, we recorded, was about number of his number five, practice number five, don't take it personally. Right. That's a good piece of advice. But the reason I bring this up, Art, is because um, it struck me that that piece of advice, that Bill's best practice number five, is a good advice for those of us who in our elder years have started to get fearful. And and I say this because I, I know some folks who are much older than I, and, and yes, you can be older than I am. Um, <laughs> and they're 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 worried about everything. Now, granted, when you get older, you know, you, you slow down, you, so maybe you're infirm, your old injuries might put you in a walker, who knows what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You're worried about money, you're worried about the kids, you're there's lots to worry about, but there's lots to worry about in every stage of life. My problem, and, and what I want to ask everybody to do, is not be fearful in your old age. You've got to you got to take Bill's practice number five, which is don't take it personally, and you've got to apply it to your life no matter what's going on because there's lots of bad stuff. There's lots of stuff that you can't fix. There's lots of health issues. There's lots of money issues. But you really need to be objective about it. You need to step back and, and have a good attitude. You know, you, if you work at it, you fix it, you get help, that's the best you can do sometimes. Maybe it's not going to go away or be solved. But that doesn't mean you have to live in fear. And the reason I, I, I bring fear up is because it's the opposite of being positive. And, and fear really is an emotion that gets your juices going. Um, and it's just bad for you. Living in fear is a negative way to live. And I, I don't want anybody in in our senior community to do that. I want well, them so all John, to live wanna, I, their best life. I want to address a couple of things. First of all, I don't consider you to be an elder. I may be right. actually a couple of hours older than you, and we're not even twins. <laughs> That's uh, right. But I don't feel elder at all. Uh, and um, I've had uh, some people tell me that I'm the most optimistic uh, person that they know. Uh, you are. Uh, so, I mean, I just try to see the good in everything and that things are going to work out. But the truth of the matter is that um, uh, uh, and we're apolitical here, so I'm going to go back into the 40s before there were, well, I guess there was politics all along, but uh, when uh, probably in the 30s when <clears throat> Roosevelt was dealing with stuff and uh, he was trying to get to the American people who were worried about are they going to have a job and food on the table, feed their kids. Uh, and I, was it he who came up with the thing, there's nothing to fear but fear itself? Right. So that right. doesn't yes. mean that yeah. doesn't mean that there aren't there aren't these uh, uh, forces around you that could that could make your life miserable. But yeah. uh, like you and I have done is that to the extent that we can, uh, we have said, OK, uh, we and our uh, spouses are going to uh, want to be relatively comfortable. So what can we do with whatever amounts of dollars we've uh, put aside and how can we stretch them and and grow them and be a little bit more comfortable. So I think that part of not having fear is to recognize that there are forces that are out there. And if we do some planning, uh, we can probably eliminate sure. 90%. I mean, look, there are certain things uh, you get. A, 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 look, uh, we both have known people with uh, who get Parkinson's and it gets very difficult right. for them to even right. feed themselves or dress themselves, uh, yeah. but still, there are some people who we know who handle it almost in a very positive way of, okay, well, what can I do? And how's the yeah. best I can work through this situation? And exactly. rather than let it control them, uh, they 
at least get some, and perhaps that's what I'm really trying to say is that by by taking some control of even a bad situation, uh, you can have a better outcome during that time that you're dealing with it. Right. I don't know. Well, it's it's not just um, things like planning, uh, you know, reaching out to get help for whatever you need. It, it's more than that. It's really an attitude. It it's, and you pointed it out when you quoted Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, what was that, 1932 or something? Yeah, probably that. around the, when the Depression, people trying to figure out how can I survive. It, exactly. So it, it, what he was saying is true in every age, and that is fear itself is debilitating. It it just clamps you up and it's and it's makes your whole body. I think Dr. Liz would probably say it, it gets some kind of hormone going. It, it's bad for you, but you you bring up a, a good point, and that is I I remember a guy that I worked with. We were we were thirty years old, twenty nine years old. Mm -hmm. We were working together, and I think he was a year older than me, a year younger. But what, he was worried about his thirtieth birthday. We his birthday was coming up in a couple of months, and he was going to turn 30. Oh, oh even more than a couple of months. Must have been a whole year. Uh, my recollection is that he he whined and complained for a year about turning 30. Turning 30 was some magic age for him. He hadn't, you know, made his first million. He hadn't written the great American novel. He All the things he hadn't done yet, and he was going to turn 30. And, oh, my God, what a terrible situation he was in. And I, I just, because we were about the same age, and I just watched this go on for months. And I, I was amazed, the, the negative attitude. Why not say, oh, my God, I'm turning 30. I can do this. I can do that. I, he, was, he flipped it all around. And that's, that's fear. That fear seems to be, to me, more prominent as we get older mm -hmm. and, and we become less in control. You're retired. You don't have any income coming in other than what you've put away. Right. Your your body's starting to fall apart. I mean, there's lots of issues when we get older that we really can't control. And it's so easy to 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 give in to fear. And that's what I want. My message for everybody today is don't give in to fear. Take Bill Jordan's advice. Don't take it personally. Take art's advice, be positive, and do the best you can, because the fear isn't going to help you, and the fear isn't going to make it any better. So you've got to deal with it as best you can and have a positive attitude. And, and John and I uh, uh, are looking forward to seeing you all around for the next 20, 30 years. And yep. uh, quite frankly, we want you to be happy. So. Yeah. Take control of your life, and there are things you can do to control it. And uh, this is a great conversation. Thank you, John. No fear. That's, that's the message. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.